Good morning. beautiful sunrise going on at the moment. It's beautiful in the fact that the sun's shining. If I'm to be a purist as a photographer, it's not the best sunrise. The clouds didn't light up very much. The, uh, the temperature is pretty cold. But from a perspective of actually being out on Easter Sunday, and watching the sunrise over the lighthouse at Sadab's Head, there's not much to complain about. That's the truth. Three challenges today. The first challenge is my bag is there and the cliff is there and I really should go and pick it up. Okay, but I can, that, that I can fix. Second inverted commas problem for the shot today is the difference between the land being exposed properly and the sky being exposed properly. So let's show you what we're going to do here. So the 5D Mark IV has a touch sensitive screen on the back, which also allows you to put the focus point where you want it. So we'll take a shot where the foreground is exposed properly. We'll take a shot where the lighthouse is exposed properly. And we'll take a shot where the sky, just beside the sun, is exposed properly. Now the beauty of that is, you can see the rays of the sun there. Let me pick it up on the camera. It's actually overexposing on the camera. Anyway, so I think we'll also do another data point of the sea exposed properly. As simple as that, and then we will combine those in Photoshop when we get home. Good morning from Goswick or Goswick, not really sure. So one of the things that I've had on my bucket list for a long time is to visit and photograph uh, a wreck, a shipwreck that lies quite a way off the coast, off the dune line and from what I've read can pretty much only be accessed from uh, when it's when it's low tide so where we're walking over now is actually an old military site um, it was used to test ordnance during uh, well I guess before and during the Second World War so there's a big sign saying don't pick up anything metal I'm all right with that Anyway, so back to this shipwreck. So, I'm not 100% sure about um, whether I'm going to get the best photograph ever of it, 
But to be honest, I'm just really here for the visit. I'm sure I'll take some photographs while I'm here. But um, what I do know is it's quite a long walk to actually reach it. To give you some perspective, Gozik. God, look at that cloud over there. I don't have a raincoat, never mind. So, Gozik is just a little bit north of Holy Island and south of Haggerston, obviously south of Berwick. And it's a vast, vast expanse of sand. And it's one of the most amazing things about Northumberland. There's something to be said about planning properly. Cause I did, oh well, I knew there was a stream here, but that's like a river going all the way, obviously, <laughs> to the sea. There's a surprise. So that's scuppered with that plans. I'm gonna have to backtrack. The wreck is there and I've had to back away because the tide's coming in <sighs> uh, there yeah <sighs> I took a shot very quickly and then I had to pick my camera bag up because the water was coming in so quickly I just don't know this area I don't know whether I'd get cut off or not so I can't risk it anyway I've got an idea how to have a look at the wreck without getting my feet wet. Yes. That was an adventure, really enjoyed it. It's always nice to be actually outside in the sunshine on this amazing Northumberland beach. First time I've been here, definitely not gonna be the last. Now, to try and beat the tide and try and get back onto the dunes and then follow the road along to the car. That was fun. I think I might have left it a little late. <laughs>